this week's episode but at the end of the day it started to make more sense towards the end of it i was wondering why this uh not so much argument but disagreeance was going on for as long as it was and to just learn that this character honestly can't be bothered (laughs) with you know like chiming in but i was like okay so maybe he's gonna pick one of the girls sides after the argument that happens in the classroom you know just having different sides just to come to find out that this dude is the one who sent an email to make it happen in the first place and then he doesn't take a side either way which i think the black haired girl is smart enough to uh to chime in and be like oh you know the things i noticed about her doing that is she almost is she was almost looking for you to have an opinion on it as well like she seems smart enough to catch on to that type of stuff so hopefully uh like he said you don't want to draw too much more attention that they were bringing just by talking on the staircase so uh he already kind of had an idea even in that grand scheme that there's people around and he can't really give her all the answers that she wants but knowing that there's a traitor and knowing that they are probably going to uh you know know exactly what it is class d is going to do like class c or class b um a, or class A, I mean, even if they're working together, they could still kind of sabotage D, because at this point, D has been the one that's been doing a lot of standout things, and C is the true one that kind of forced itself to showcase more and more of, like, what they're willing to do to bring everybody down to their level, or at least beat them in any way, shape, or form. So I am curious to see what people are feeling on that and where it goes as a whole because for me, uh, I'm still siding with my main character. I feel like he has uh, motivation due to another person which is interesting because he doesn't really care for anybody else. But maybe getting class A was something on his agenda overall and even now he's trying to fool the audience being us to think that he's only got that because of that girl that's the reason why and it's nothing of his own personal vendetta but we know for a fact his father has something to do with him even wanting him to be out of this testing stuff so seeing how quickly he can run and outpace a girl who's outpacing others just kind of proved another point of like as soon as he starts trying he can be ridiculous or he has some kind of you know experimental drug that they've been putting in him since he was a kid that maybe makes him stronger and capable of using his body to the fullest as we see him hear what the average boy should be able to squeeze at and he goes and gets that because that's what he wanted to get <laughs> so so much to take in i really love this show and all the little small details that can probably lead to something pretty dangerous for instance uh class a big brother still being on the mind of the sister and we don't know really why she even is bothering so we'll see hope you all have an amazing one thank you so much for the support like subscribe whatever the case is and i will definitely be talking to y'all in the comments or in the next one take care peace